Well, the plums are very early this year and some of them are going bad. Um, they're going bad on the tree. It's just not a really good year for plums at the minute. Well, not in, on my tree anyway. Miles too early. To this lot of tomatoes off uh, some of the tomato bushes up the garden. Courgette. The slugs and snails have been having a bit of a chomp on that. But I'm going to have that for my tea with some chopped up peppers in a stir fry. The Hebe bush, it has flowered. So there's an odd flower still left on it. All these are seed pods, but it's fell forward. It looks a mess from the opposite side. And I've got to do something with it. Can't have it all hanging over the, this side of the wall. It's getting my way. Not out yet. That's, that's a pretty one when it does come out. So we've got lots of things in flower. A lot of work to do in the garden. I've got a load of deadheading to do. Some dahlia. This is another dahlia, just different type. Like I say all these are dead. Want deadheading? I've just. Uh, it's been a bit too hot for me to get in the garden at the minute. Same with the budlia. The budlia's mini budlia's gone over now. And wants deadheading. Here I took a cutting off my purple clematis from over on the shed. Whoops! And um, th this is it. It's doing quite quite well. This was supposed to be an orange um, rose, but it turned out to be more pinky red. But it's it's a really big rose. That's not the biggest one I've had off of it, but you can see. I put it at the side of my hand. It is quite quite big. And I've had one twice the size of that off it. Fuchsias are looking nice. Another one over here. Oops, they, <laughs> I've deadheaded them, they fell off. That one's uh, not got so many flowers on. Now. And I've got some weeding to do. Let me get these weeds out. The sun's a bit low, so it's very difficult to shoot into the sun. I hope you can see that. That's a cactus dahlia. A small cactus dahlia, slightly whiter than the other one. The other one's more, um, more a yellow. Got dahlias all over the place. This is a plum tree. You can see. You can't see. I'm into the. I'm into my own light. I come around this side. You can see they're going bad on the tree. It's not. Not doing very well. It's absolutely packed though, look. But I'm having to catch them when they're just right. Like that one's not quite soft enough. But if you don't pull them off, they're going bad. This is the rose that used to be where we replaced the fence. Mark dug it out and I saved it before he killed it. But this is mostly flowered now. It's not many, not really any buds on it. I could do with dead in so they'll come back. This hosta's done the best it's ever done. It's always been smaller than the others. This one got waterlogged at the beginning of the year and has only just come in. But this one and the next one I'm going to show you normally flower. And this one's never flowered before. So this is the first time it's flowered. It's about over. And it's never been as big as that. So I'm quite pleased with that one. That one's caught up. Um, so it's got some old leaves in it. But it's got some new growth. The only trouble with having them in pots, uh, they can't spread anymore, so sometimes they look a bit tatty. So we have a pink cactus, dahlia cactus. Uh, everything's looking a bit bedraggled, it's too hot, they need a water. This side, this miniature budlia, has flowered later than the others. I had to feed it, oops, I've got my hand, fingers in the way. I had to feed it, um, it wasn't doing very well. And so now it's uh, picked up and then I've got a bigger budlia here but the flowers have already gone. There's maybe one just there. This needs a good cut back um, once it's flowered. All this side the dahlias have all flowered and they all want dead heading and except for this one that's only just started to flower. 
calla lilies i've got quite a few different colors um that one's the only well no there was another one that was flowering as well yes this pink one but i think they getting the, it's getting a bit warm these two have decided not to flower this year that's an orange one in the corner and that didn't flower last year either so maybe all ready for some feed this over this side has gone mad this big one they're like massive flowers and it's climbed all the way up the tree so at the end of the season that'll all have to be cut back it's gone mad but the reason it's gone mad in this heat when other things haven't done well is the hose pipe goes along the bottom here and there's a slight little hole in the hose pipe so when I've got the hose pipe on these are getting watered all the time it's awkward to see because I'm into the sun again but I've just found an apple on the floor it's nice so we have quite a few apples um, I think they're the cooking apples on that side they're looking big because we've had quite a lot of rain I think it's done better for the apples apples all over you can't really see because the sun this is better look there's apples and there's apples at the back there's apples everywhere and then we have pears hold on let me move come there there's a pear there's some more pears another pear there i'm sure there was a lot more pears than that earlier on can't see them oh they're here there's a pear there, there's a pear there, there is no uh, peaches this year which is a shame because the tree had some sort of a, I don't know what it were, an insect or something that burrowed into the leaves and, and uh, it made a right mess even though I think it had that the year before but, and, but we still got peaches whether we just didn't have the right um, conditions when the blossom was out. Just, I'm quite surprised to see my white calla lily because I thought it was dead and there was not much of a like root or corm or anything, it, all, it was all rotted. When I emptied the, the container that it was in. So I decided just to shove it in here in, the, in this bed, I thought well if it if it's rotten it'll rot down and be compost and it's come back look at that that's very nice this odd little flower uh, this is very dry on, on this bed and things aren't doing so well my mum's one of this this plant here is really beautiful i don't think it gets enough water so this tree i'm going to take this limb off to take that off just that one and that will open it up a bit more for some of my fruit bushes i left the hose pipe on um not spurting up into the air oh well never mind um it's water and everything i'm going to get wet trying to get to it now if you can see i've lost my tunnel we had some very high winds uh early on in the summer and I lost my tunnel. There's my beans there, courgettes in this bit. There's my rubbish, what I've been, um, when I've been weeding. Really, really steamy hot in here. So these my tomato plants. Um, I've got some like little cherry tomatoes and stuff. Other ones about in the garden, but these are my gigantimos. Yeah, I think they're gigantimos, I'm sure they're gigantimos. They're the big, anyway, they're a big, massive tomato. So they're coming on nicely. I've only got one cucumber left. The sun absolutely decimated my cucumbers the other day. So I've only got one left. And I've got one pepper. Only only had one pepper. Um, something, something's chewing on that. Uh, got some peppers coming on it mass big jungle these are um, like bush ones and the 42 day and i've had loads off this these the ones on, i showed you that i picked are off of here and there's still tons more 